about your your stage two performance because your path here I would say also was was somewhat unusual in the fact that you basically just won overtime games to to be here so would you would you say you are lucky or clutch I would definitely say clutch there you go <laughs> it happened too many times for it to be a coincidence or just like luck based. What is it about you guys as a team that uh, allows you to consistently win when the game is on the line? I think a big part is just our team has a lot of resiliency and we're kind of staying in the fight and we don't give up. And also once we get into these later rounds, sometimes like you can have slow starts, but by the time we get to overtime, we, we feel like we figured out the other team and we know what to do and which strats we want to run. I think it's easy for us to keep playing and not be phased when we're way behind and as well not get too excited when we're way up. Um, just one round at a time, it's something we, we stress every day in practice and we've seen it play out all season long. How have you improved? What did you learn from Six Invitational and how have you improved from then to now? When you play against uh, teams from all the regions, you learn a lot of stuff different that you don't use and you don't see in your own region. And you got you got punished by different styles, different things, different plays that you can that you can like pick up and learn why they do the, the, those kind of stuff and put you in, in your arsenal. You know, I think when we left the this is Invitational, we were a much more more flexible team. Uh, our adaptations were more easily to do, easily to like to see the, the needs. And that's why we improved so much for the, the second stage on BR6.